Yeah, so I'm turning the gain up to 10 and I'm gonna just slam on the brakes. It locks up immediately. <laughs> so that's 10, obviously. So nine locks up, eight locks up, seven locks up. So it's like, a, okay, there, that was like not totally locked. It ended up locking up, but it wasn't like instant. So five, oh, there you go. Five's not locking up. That's like, I mean, I'm going all the way engaged and it's slowly trying to stop. And now it's coming to a complete stop. There's really good brakes. I'm surprised how well they lock up. Cause some trailers you like, you gotta stick them on 10 to get them to lock up. This is locking up at six. Pretty good. That's great. It's great is because when you're coming down, like we're gonna come up on this obstacle and you need to like control your brakes manually down here with your, uh, uh, where you can engage the brakes right here slowly and you adjust your um, gain up or down. When, what happens is when you get on this hill, sometimes the trailer wants to act as like, if you're going up, it's like an anchor, it's pulling you back. When you're going down, it wants to push you forward. So it's really nice to be able to engage and lock up the brakes and then it stops the truck and it holds the truck in place. And it's really like when you're off-roading, you're going down bumps, the last thing you wanna do is go fast because fast creates bounce, right? And when you're bouncing, that's how, that's how things flip. So you always wanna go smoothly over things, slowly. Some things you go over fast, some things you go over nice and slow. You don't want bounce. That's how you roll.